Thank you very much, Vice Minister. I now invite the head of delegation from Republic of Korea to give his address. Please proceed. Excellency Mohamed Nasid, President of the Republic of Maldives, Excellencies, distinguished guests. First of all, I would like to congratulate President Nasheed on assuming the chair of SARC. I also wish, wish to express my sincere appreciation to the government of Maldives for uh, hosting this important meeting. It is my great honor to be here with excellencies and distinguished guests on this heavenly coral island. Excellencies, Home to a quarter of, of the world's population, South Asia has shown a remarkable economic growth during the past couple of years, becoming a new growth engine of the global economy. Furthermore, South Asia, most notably uh, Sri Lanka and Nepal, has made significant progress in democracy and political stability. As a result, the <coughs> international community's attention and expectation on South Asia and SARC as its one and only regional cooperation association have become greater than ever. Recently, SARC has made tangible progress on regional cooperation based on the political and economic developments within the member countries. Not only has South Asia free trade area come into effect, the Secretariat for SARC Development Fund has officially been launched laying a solid foundation for enhanced cooperation among SAC members. I believe that this year's summit under the theme of building bridges has successfully produced creative ideas to realize the vision and commitment of the SAC members on regional cooperation. Excellencies, Korea has been cooperating closely with the SAC member countries in their efforts to realize socio-economic development. Over the past decade, South Asia has emerged as an important economic partner for Korea. Korea's trade volume with SAC members increased by 40% last year. Korea's investment in the region is also surging rapidly. In particular, Korean companies are actively investing in infrastructure such as roads, dams, and power plants, thereby contributing to the economic development of the region. Moreover, Korea has provided employment opportunities for 40,000 South Asian workers through the employment permit system. Korea is assisting South Asian countries that are vulnerable to climate change, such as Maldives, in order to harmonize economic growth with environmental sustainability. In particular, Korea is helping South Asian countries to enhance their capacity to tackle problems arising from climate change through the East Asia Climate Partnership and will contribute to the green growth of the South Asian countries through the Global Green Growth Institute. Excellencies, distinguished guests, as you all know, Korea has overcome the destruction of war and transformed itself from a recipient of international aid to a member of OECD Development Assistant Committee within a half century. Such a change would not have been possible without the help of the international community, and now Korea wishes to return the help it once received. To this end, Korea will continue to expand its development assistance toward SAC members. The total volume of Korea's official development assistance to this region accounts for nearly 20% of Korea's total ODA. Korea plans to further increase its ODA to this region in accordance with its commitment to triple its ODA volume by 2015. Moreover, the Korean government has made great efforts to enhance the capacity of the SARC members by actively sharing its experience and know-how. Korea will continue to expand the SARC special training program, which it has been carrying out since 2008 for 100 government officials from South Asian countries each, other, each year. Korea will further increase new projects aimed at sharing Korea's development experience. 
For example, my government plans to launch Korea project on International Agriculture Center in South Asian countries to share its know-how on agricultural technology. We'll also offer knowledge sharing program through which policy recommendations on economic growth will be offered. Korea intends to further enhance multilateral cooperation with the SARC. The Korea SARC Partnership Seminar, which was held last year for the first time, is set to become an annual event. It will serve as a forum in which we can exchange views on long-term cooperation and explore areas of korea SARC cooperation. As you may know, three weeks from now, Korea will be hosting the fourth high-level forum on aid effectiveness in Busan, Korea. This forum is all the more significant as it is being held at a critical juncture where there is an urgent need for the global community's united response to recurring global financial crisis. As the host country, Korea will seek ways to enhance aid effectiveness through constructive cooperation with the newly emerging economies, including South Asian countries. In this regard, I would like to request the active participation and support from SARC member countries. Excellencies, SARC, which has recently gained a foothold for its advancement, is facing another enormous challenges. The year 2011 is the starting point for the transition of security, governance, and development responsibility in Afghanistan. And the next three to four years will be crucial not only for Afghanistan, but for the peace and stability of the entire South Asia. The international community is exploring various ways to support lasting peace and stability in Afghanistan after 2014, and Korea will spare no efforts in these endeavors. I believe the commitment and efforts of the countries within the region is of, ut of utmost importance to the stability of South Asia. I strongly believe that SARC will play a significant role in achieving regional harmony and stability by promoting economic, social, and cultural cooperation among its members. I would like to end by offering my heartfelt congratulations on the success of the 17th SARC Summit, and I hope that this year's meeting will bring member countries one step closer to regional cooperation and integration. The Republic of Korea will continue to support SAC members in their efforts to realize peace and prosperity within the region. Thank you very much.